Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests. This is a pretty strange washing line, isn't it? I bet you're wondering what on earth is going on in this household. I'll tell you at the end. I'm going to tell you two knicker stories, because I think knickers are fun. The first story is completely true, every single word of it. The second story is complete nonsense. I made up the whole thing. So, let's start with the first story. About ten years ago, I used to play bridge on a Tuesday night in Hungerford with three other women, as you do. Uh, we used to have quite a lot of wine and chat before we got going and dealt the cards out and decided what were trumps, all that sort of thing. On this particular night, we took ages, we took about half an hour to get going because Serena had something special to tell us. Serena had just lost all her knickers, which is a pretty strange thing. Before I tell you how she lost them, I'll tell you a little bit about Serena. Serena had been married to an old Etonian. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's somebody who's been to Eton and who's very rich. And then she got divorced, and she wasn't quite so rich anymore. And when she was about 45, she decided she wanted to be rich again. So, <laughs> don't you know, she marries another Etonian. And suddenly, she's very rich again. But within a week after marrying this chap, Michael, he lost all his money. He'd taken a big gamble, and he'd lost everything, and he was very, very poor. Well, Serena was a bit fed up with husband number two, wouldn't you be? But she was even more upset about losing all her knickers. Now, I know that does sound a bit strange. How can you lose all your knickers? Serena, just before she got married, which was only a few weeks before she was telling us this story, had binned all her underwear, because now she was going to be rich again, she could have nice things. So she bought a set of eight gorgeous little sparkly white thong things, very, very expensive, and they'd all disappeared. Well, she wasn't that poor, but she was quite poor, so this time she went off to Martha Sparks and bought a set of their more practical little white thong things, and they'd all disappeared. And she bought another set, and another set, all 32 had completely disappeared. I think she was wearing some knickers while she told us this story. Anyway, she was very upset. <laughs> I mean, I know Michael was poor, but what was he doing with all her knickers? Anyway, the day before she told us this story, she wandered round the garden for some reason. Now, you might wonder why she'd never wandered round her garden before, but believe me, with what had gone on, losing all that money, she'd been pretty distracted since they'd got married. Anyway, she wandered into this part of the garden and discovered this washing line she didn't know about. And there were all her 32 knickers, all pegged up separately. Well, she was furious. Up until that point, she'd been quite coy about the housekeeper. She hadn't really bossed her around, because she quite honestly wasn't used to having a housekeeper. But this time, she got her courage up, and she marched off to find the housekeeper, and said to her, What a waste of pegs! What a waste of time! What a waste of knickers! You ought to use the tumbler dryer like everybody else because all the farmhands think Michael has got a knicker fetish. She never did that again. On to my next story. Now this, as I said, is completely made up. It's absolute nonsense. It's a story about a typical marriage. A couple. The woman is called Pink Sparkly Thing because she wears these sweet little pink sparkly things. And the man is called Tight White Trump because they're the kind I like. They're my favourite men's knickers. Sparkly pink thing and tight white trunks, as you do, live happily for seven years. And then after seven years, as normally happens, they suddenly weren't so happy anymore. Something had happened to sparkly pink thing. Her knickers had disappeared too. Up her bum. Very uncomfortable, that was too. And she'd gone off and bought herself some soft white knickers, comfy tennis knickers. And these knickers had got bigger and bigger and bigger. Till one day, she turned into giant pink pants. <laughs> well, tight white trunks wasn't very happy about this. After all, he'd been in love with sparkly pink things. And he wasn't very keen on huge pink pants. So what do you think happened? His eyes started to wander all over the place because there were lots of sparkly pink things around to distract him. Some of them even had sparkly bits sticking out the back just so you could be sure what they had on. 
And very soon, he fell in love with one of these new sparkly pink things. And they went off together to that new little love nest over there. Meanwhile, back at home, giant pink pants had taken herself off to Weight Watchers. She'd got herself a personal shopper. She'd learned to do her hair. She'd learned to put makeup on. And you know what? In a very short space of time, she turned back into sparkly pink things. And she was much more attractive this time around. The trouble was, there were an awful lot of other tight white trunks all watching this new sparkly pink thing over here. And one day, something strange happened because over here, new sparkly pink thing was having trouble with her knickers. They'd started disappearing up her bum. She'd started wearing the comfy suit. And very soon, she'd turned into giant pink knickers. Whoa, tight white trunks wasn't very happy about that. He wasn't very happy the first time around. He was even more unhappy the second time around. And of course, you can guess what? His eyes started wandering. Because all these little pink things were all over the place once more. Until one day, he saw a particularly bright spot. The trouble was, there were an awful lot of other tight white trunks also interested in this new pink sparkly thing. But he really fancied her. She reminded him so much of his first love. And then he looked a bit closer. It was his first love. And he wooed her. And they fell in love. And they lived happily together again, as people have always done. And so the story goes on and on. And in case some of you are still wondering what's happening in this strange garden, this is a real garden. This is a real washing line. This is day two of my daughter's garden. Day two of potty training. And a very unsuccessful day it was too. Which is why I've got all the knickers. So, what about you lot out there? All you tight white trunks. All you sparkly pink things, all you giant pink knickers. What do your knickers say about you? What does your washing line say about you? What do your neighbours think? And what stories are you going to tell me for my speech next year?